for checking out my channel and thank you for clicking this video. So guys, no, um, we're done na sa ating um, part 1 ng ating beginners category. So, which is the basic elements ng ating Excel. So now we can proceed on our second uh, topic on our beginners category, which is the basic formula in Excel. So, kung ready na kayo guys, no? Uh, let's start! Hi guys! Welcome to my screen. Our topic for today is about basic formula. Okay, since tapos na tayo guys sa basic elements ng Excel no, sa previous video natin, we can now proceed ngayon sa ating basic formula. Okay, so let's start. Here guys, so nga mapapansin kayo dito na nawawala yung ating ribbon. Okay, so kasi diba each tab have their own uh, unique ribbon. No? So kung gusto nyo lang guys itong um, maging uh, fix dito no, sa viewing natin or i-pin. Okay, meron kayong makikita ang pin button dito sa taas. You can just click it and that's it. Automatically na siya na napifix sa ating uh, viewing sa taas. Okay, so here guys, makikita nyo meron tayong dalawang uh, data. Okay, sa isang exam result and sales report. Okay, let's start here sa kaliwa. So, here guys, makapansin nyo meron tayong exam. Exam 1, exam 2, exam 3. Okay, so instead of typing exam 1, exam 2 manually, you can just drag your data up to the end. And that's it. Okay, Excel now um, create the ascending form ng ating um, exam. So, meron na tayong 2 and 3. Okay, so, applicable din siya dito um, guys sa uh, date, no? So, instead of typing April 6 hanggang so on, okay? So, you can just drag your data up to the end and that's it. Automatically na si Excel na mag-create sa inyo ng April 5 hanggang April 11 na date. Okay, here naman sa student, so, um, dito sa data natin meron tayong student 7 daw, no? So, instead of typing again, you can just drag it until the end and that's it. You now have the uh, student 1 hanggang 7. Okay, so gender naman tayo guys. No? So, for an example, in this data, we all have female. So, you can just copy, no? Control C. Okay? Or, pwede din naman um, right click nyo guys. And then, may makikita kayo dito ng copy. Okay? So, click nyo lang yan. Okay? And then, highlight nyo kung saan nyo siya gusto i-paste. And then, pwede yung Control V. Okay, for the paste or pwede din naman um, pwede nyo din gawin is right click and um, paste ito okay? paste value then click ok okay, so yan yung two way din guys no, ng ating um, pag copy and paste okay, pag copy guys control C okay, shortcut natin ho. tapos kapag magpi paste ka naman is control V okay? so for example guys here naman no um, you want this um, header na maging um, bold kasi usually, di ba, kapag um, pinaka-top, um, naka-bold yan, yung pantakin yung title. So, you can just use um, this one sa home tab nyo, no? Yung letter B dito. So, it means bold. And then, here naman is italic. So, parang nakatagilid. Yan yan, no? Kung gusto nyo nakatagilid. And then, itong view naman, kung gusto nyo may underline yung inyo, um, text. So, in here, ayaw ko may underline. So, pero gusto ko siyang bold. Okay, here, and see it's italic and it's bold. Okay, the shortcut naman nito guys is, um, you can use the, um, okay, you can use for default, you can use the control plus B. Okay, so that's it. And then kapag italic naman guys, may control plus I. Okay, pag underline naman guys, control plus U. Okay, so yun yung mga shortcut din ng ating uh, mga font. Okay, so, ito naman guys, gusto ko siyang i-center, no? highlight nyo na yung data. Okay, punta kayo dito sa alignment um, group. Okay, so, click nyo lang to. Ayan no, center. Okay, so, pwede yung iba-ibang style nyo kung gusto nyo nandito sa um, right naman, yung data nyo, or pwede gusto nyo nandito sa left. Okay, pwede yung okay, center. So, mas maganda siya tignan pag center. Okay, so, ayan guys, yung, ano, yung mga font and alignment ng ating date. Next naman guys is, uh, for example, guys, no, so, makikita nyo dito sa sales report natin, mayroong month, no? So, may January, February, March, April, May, no? So, una guys, yun na, ang mapapansin nyo dito, mayroon tayong January, so, wala namang January, no? Um, um, na month, no? So, um, ang gagawin mo lang dyan, guys, is highlight mo lang yung cell, and then, um, double, yan, hanapin nyo yung cross na block, and then double click, okay? 
So, yan. Automatically, yun ang si Excel na nang ma-adjust ko ang size data. Okay? So, makapansin nyo din dito, guys, na uh, mayroon dyan parang number, number sign, no? Dati kasi, guys, natatakot na ako po nakakita ko ng ganyan. Nakala ko mali na yung data na nilagay ko. Okay? It only means, guys, na hindi kasha yung space, okay? Yung iyong um, cell. Kumbaga, mahaba yung data na nasa loob ng iyong box. So, again, ganun lang din, guys. Highlight nyo lang yan and then just double click. And then, and then, it will automatically adjust for you. Okay? Okay? Next naman, guys, mapapansin nyo dito. So, um, example nyo, you previously put the um, April after the May. Okay? Dapat ang April is pagkatapos ng March, no? So, instead of typing again the um, data of April and May, okay? You can just, okay? Highlight this, okay? And then, right click. And then, cut. Okay? Ibig sabihin, i-remove natin siya, no? Ibig sabihin, um, uh, i-repat natin siya sa ibang position. Okay? So, pwede right click. And then, um, click cut. Okay? Or, pwede din naman, guys, um, control plus X. Okay? Siya, yun yung keyboard shortcut natin, no? Tapos, highlight nyo lang siya ulit kung saan nyo siya gusto um, ilipat. Yung, yung data nyo. So, gusto ko siyang ilipat dun sa um, after ng May. Uh, before ng May. Okay? So, again, um, for the um, pasting natin, guys. So, ang ipipaste natin is, uh, sorry, ang i-insert natin pala kasi nag-cut tayo. Eh. So, ang i-insert natin, guys, is um, ito. Kung i-click natin is the insert cut cell, no? Para magpunta dyan yung April. Click lang natin yan. And that's it. Okay, you now have the March, April, and May. Okay. So, for, uh, another, guys, na makikita nyo dito, itong numbers natin, guys, is um, naka-general number siya. Okay? Pero, dapat kasi, is naka-numbers um, siya. Okay? So, kung gusto, gusto mo gawin numbers, highlight ko lang yun, guys. And then, may makikita ka dito, guys, na currency. Pinari, gusto ko siyang gawin peso. Okay, just click mo lang yan. And that's it. You now have the peso tally. Okay? So, um, another naman guys na basic is, for example, gusto ko itong lagyan ng colors. Okay? Punta ulit kayo dun sa font. And then, may makikita kayo dito parang, um, but, um, parang, ano ba yun? Parang, ah, uh, baso ba? Or parang balde ba yan? Okay? So, click nyo lang yan. Tapos, ayan, may makilalabas na iba't ibang colors. Okay? Depende kung anong gusto nyo na. So, for example, gusto ko is yellow. Okay? So, yan. Yan yung, um, kung gusto mong kalayan yung iyong cell. Para naman, guys, kung gusto kong kalayan yung text. Okay? So, pwede din, guys, no? So, for example, ito, yung letter A, yan yung um, color ng iyong text. For example, gusto ko siyang gawin white. Diba? Okay? So, you can do it. Kita natin, hindi kasi kita. Gawin na natin black. Okay? So, let's see. Okay? So, pwede nyo siyang lagyan ng mga kulay ng um, um, reporting nyo. Okay? Para mas maganda siya ang tingnan. Okay? So, ayan guys yung mga basic um, formula na magagamit nyo sa Excel. Okay? I hope guys na may tutunin kay for this topic. Okay? If um, nagustuhan nyo yung topic natin for today, just click um, thumbs up. And if you want to get notified pag mayroon tayong mga bagong videos uploaded about um, Excel tutorial, um, I hope you click the bell button, okay? And um, see you guys on my next video. Bye! Guys, if you want to get notified if I have uploaded new videos, just click the bell button below and then hit thumbs up.